And we're going to start off with a story posted by Reddit user Netcats1. They had become interested in the dark web mystery box trend and decided to give it a try themselves. They ended up regretting it. A box arrived on their doorstep. The box contained several envelopes. They opened the first envelope, revealing a collection of photographs. Capturing various destinations around the world. The thing is though, to their shock, they began to realize that the pictures were taken of places they had gone on vacation with their family. The following envelope held pictures of their house, meticulously capturing every angle, including glimpses of the interior through their windows. To their horror, the subsequent set of images portrayed the inside of their home, featuring family members engaged in everyday activities. However, the most disturbing photograph awaited in the final envelope, an unsettling selfie of a masked figure standing beside them sleeping in bed. Overwhelmed, countless questions flooded their mind and their anxiety escalated. Nevertheless, their curiosity persisted in compelling them to open the remaining small box. What they found inside nearly caused them to pass out. It was a collection of dog bones, recognizable by the collar as belonging to their beloved pet Charlie, who had passed away three years prior and was buried in the backyard. Is this story true? I, probably not, but it's it's still a creepy story. Next up, we have a mystery box unboxing gone wrong. Mindseed TV, who makes a lot of these videos, shared a video on their YouTube channel of a rather disturbing unboxing. And apparently they ended up handing over all this stuff to the police. So if that's true, it's pretty scary. The box was sent to them unexpectedly and the uploader believed it was sent by the same individual who he had purchased a mystery box from over a year prior. Stuff they pull out gets worse and worse as the video goes on. Starts getting real unsettling though when they pull out a pair of kids shoes. Take a look at that. Yeah, not something you want to get in a box unless you're, you know, intentionally buying them for your kid. They also received a case containing several surgical tools, a meat grinder, and most disturbingly, they unwrap a ceramic container shaped like a heart and uh, when they opened it up, they find what looks to be a set of human teeth. Yeah, pretty disturbing, if it's real anyway. At number eight, we have an unboxing from the YouTube channel Luxury Dark. Now, uh, just for starters, I like these guys. Whether what they have in this box is real or not, or was sent by some mysterious person or not, the video is presented really well. I find with a lot of videos like this, it's very played up. It's a lot of overacting and, and just YouTubers being obnoxious, unlike me, of course. But these two uh, seem genuine which I like and the stuff they pull out pretty creepy first of all they state at the start of the video that the uh, package was dropped off in their backyard by some guy in the middle of the night whoever it is doesn't look like a UPS worker or anything like that take a look word of advice don't order anything from the dark web right to your home address just send it to like a I don't know a, a post office pick it up there anyway they pull out a stuffed animal some letters addressed to someone named Michelle there there was also a framed photo of a random family. Seemed like these were items that belonged to someone else because it would be very strange for someone to send a picture of their own family to a stranger online, although there's all sorts of people in the world, so who knows. They also pulled out a bag of socks underwear, and hair. Most disturbingly though, they found a USB with footage that looked to be taken from outside of somebody's window. All right, let's move on to number seven. This next video is uploaded to YouTube by Kira Bridget, and uh, she seems to have done more than one of these unboxings, and uh, I don't get why, if they are real anyway. This one, really gross. First she pulls out a used tissue, and all I could think watching this was she needs to invest in more more gloves. She said she was just out, but yeah, she really should have waited till she had some because uh, she picked this stuff up with her bare hands and that's the most disturbing part of the whole thing. There's a good chance she just assembled this box herself. There's a chance that's the case for all these videos, but uh, yeah, if this is indeed real, then hey, you know what? I think it was money well spent. Next on the list, we have an unboxing from YouTuber Infinite. Now he opens a couple boxes in this video, one of which actually has some pretty cool stuff I know it actually uh, I buy intentionally, but the first box he 
opens. Again, if this is actually a package he got from some person online, it's pretty nasty. Again, he really uh, should have been wearing gloves. Again, what's with these people not wearing gloves? I'd put a mask on too. Anyway, the first thing he pulls out with his eyes closed, mind you, which is another mistake, is a bag containing something. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks kind of like uh, maybe a chicken breast to me with barbecue sauce. And even if that is what it is, it's still pretty gross to receive that in the mail. He proceeds to open the bag and give it a whiff. Third mistake. And uh, even gets some of the mysterious juices on his fingers, which seems to be leaking from the bag. Ugh. At number five, we have a video uploaded to YouTube by Jude Summers. Now, I'm pretty new to this dark web mystery box thing, and by that I mean I found out about this today. So I'm not sure if this is true, but he states at the start of the video that uh, he hadn't seen anyone buy mystery boxes off the dark web before. So this could be the very first YouTuber to do it, or at least film themselves doing it anyway. There you go. Uh, we're watching history being made. Now luckily Jude starts off by putting on a pair of gloves and it turns out he needed them because the first thing he pulled out of the box was a package of wet wipes with a note reading, you might need this. So there's gonna be some icky stuff in this box. He proceeds to pull out a few pretty innocuous items, but by far the weirdest and grossest thing he received was a strange, foul smelling something. Take a look. Looks kind of like a rotten mushroom maybe? I don't know, but I would not have pulled it out of the bag at all. Again, he should have just been wearing a mask. That th thing just looks nasty. Number four. This next video is uploaded by Juggling the Jenkins. Love that name. It was the day before Halloween, so Tiffany's husband purchased some mystery boxes for her to open on camera, and she got some absolutely lovely new dolls, some animal skulls, and a small little bottle of holy water. Good call. I mainly put this one on here because uh, she's hilarious, and whether the boxes were sent by some creep or just someone having a laugh, it's pretty clear that Tiffany is genuinely surprised about what she's finding, which is far more entertaining than people overacting and playing stuff up for the camera. She pulls out a really disgusting looking doll and her reaction is priceless. Gotta say, I'd probably have a similar reaction. In one box, she pulls out several taxidermy type items, some animal bones, and what looks to be some sort of shriveled up hand. This next video is brought to us by the YouTube channel Fanatic. And uh, if this is real, it's absolutely insane. I don't know, it's pretty far-fetched, but their reactions seem pretty genuine, uh, so you be the judge. So these guys bought a package off the dark web and inside of it was what looked to be a burlap sack and inside that sack was another box. So yeah, as they said, it looks like an ammo box, but what was contained inside of it was completely unexpected. It had a bunch of wet paper towels and under that was a bag containing this. Yeah. It's just a lungfish in a bag. Now again, this whole thing can definitely be fake, but just looking at the reactions, it seems like they're genuinely surprised here. So who knows? I mean, how stuff like this gets across any borders? I mean, don't they check the, the packages? But anyway, I mean, it's still cool to see a lungfish pulled out of a box like that. I don't know. I don't know. I was entertained by this video. At number two, we have a TikToker named Mast Red. Mast Red, who happens to actually wear a, a black mask, opens tons of mystery boxes apparently bought off the dark web. He's received all kinds of stuff. Watches, a water bottle full of hot dogs. Some of it's pretty mundane, while other boxes have contained more sinister items. Foam containing mysterious pictures. Take a look at this. And uh, this box containing this absolutely nightmarish doll. Yeah, I don't like the look of that thing. No eyes, no mouth, dolls are the worst. I don't know, anyone ever seen someone who like collects dolls? I don't get it. If these are real boxes he's buying with Bitcoin on the deep web, uh, he's got some money to spend too because he's uploaded tons of these videos. And finally though, at number one, we have what I'm just gonna call backpack. This video is once again uploaded uh, by Mindseed TV and is pretty well known in the dark web mystery box community, I guess. The creepiest part of this video is when they pull out a child's backpack. Very unsettling. This is one of those videos I hope 
really hope isn't real, or at least that the person who sent the package is just trying to creep people out. But contained within the bag was a pair of child-sized shorts and a sweater. Now, as icky and weird as that is, what's interesting about this video is that this is the first package Mindseed TV received from this seller, who he believes sent the unexpected package a year later that we discussed earlier in the video at number nine. And again, you know, whether this stuff is real or not, it it does make for a pretty spooky series of videos, so give them a watch if you're interested. Number 10, house creep. Are you in the market for a new house? Maybe you and your significant other are looking to upgrade, right? We'd love to see it, nice. I applaud the changes coming your way. You've earned it. Now, depending which website you pick, you may be stuck living in an otherwise haunted house. I'm not talking about haunted, oh it's old, some doors creak. I'm talking horrible, horrible things have unfolded here under that same roof. Houses where people have passed away. You know, I'll say that. You know what I'm trying to say here. Houses that have been used in some sort of illegal substance operation as well. Again, trying to say what, you know, you know what I'm saying here. It's really up to you. All the categories are right there in front of you. All you have to do is head to housecreep.com and you'll see every option, every dark, horrible option. The website is eerie because obviously it's, you know, it's contents, but it looks like a normal 2022 holiday booking website. It's too casual, you know what I mean? It's gross. I'll be the Hotel Trivago guy, but for this website. Do this weird dances that he does, he's always like, hey, 50% off, haunted houses. <laughs> Number nine, your last day. I remember when I was in college one day, I was walking to class and this crazy dude yelled at me and he said I was gonna die in three years. So that's really awesome. Now I've since proven that man and his fingerless gloves wrong, but it did have me thinking for those three years, right? Now, what if? What if a website did that for you? Not that strange man in the side of the road there. What if a website allowed you yeah, you, to input your information, to input your name, birthday, weight, height, all that good stuff, Libra, check, let's do this. Now, if you input all that information, you tell deathdate.com what you're working with, and this site should tell you exactly when you'll die. Yeah, I haven't done it yet, I'm kinda too afraid. Should I do it? I don't know. If we do a part two, then I'll do it. I'll start off by telling you how that website told me I was gonna die. I'll do it. Number eight, simulation argument. Okay, this one's pretty short and sweet. If you can't sleep at night and maybe you need something to read, something around eight minutes long to, you know, soothe your mind, well, head over to simulationargument.com. That's, uh, that's a good start, I'd say. Any questions you have about simulation theory, be it references in the past, both by philosophers or scientists or even in media, it's almost like a PDF file. Everything you need is right here. No photos, just links and explanations in an orderly fashion. Yeah, here's a blurb from the file. It reads, Certainly some modifications are necessary once we admit the possibility of an infinite universe that may contain infinitely many simulated and non-simulated people. In this case, the ratio of simulated people to that total number of people is not defined. Awesome, so we may or may not be real. Who knows? Hit that thumbs up if you think I'm real. I promise I am, maybe. Number seven, pointer, pointer. So I've never laughed so hard in my life like two hours ago. I have to include this because it's actually really creepy when you really think about it. But at the same time, it's one of those things you can't help but love. Pointerpointer.com. Okay, you move your cursor anywhere on the screen and then just let go. And then one second later, a photo from anywhere, somewhere from the internet will appear. Now this photo will have somebody pointing directly where you left your pointer on screen. Yeah, you move it a little bit and it finds a new photo instantly of somebody pointing at what appears to be your pointer again. Where do these photos come from? Who are these people? I have no idea, couldn't tell you, but it's hilarious. It's like people at dinner with their family, but then one guy's in the background pointing. So now it's just there in front of your face. It's so odd, it feels illegal, honestly. If there's one point that really nails it in this list, this one feels illegal, feels very illegal. Number six, world births and other stuff. Here's a website that looks like the stock market at first, okay? One side is green and it's very active, it's running, it's moving around, and the other side of the screen is red and it's also, of course, quite active. Not as active, but still up and running. The background is a world map and it updates every single second, showing each and every new birth on this side. It's fast. I sat at my computer at lunch and I just watched thousands of people being born. I was like, congratulations, congratulations. Wow, this is amazing, this is fascinating. Now, of course, the other side is the complete opposite, as you could tell, hence the dark website theme going on in this list. The right side is every death all over the world, instantly. Yeah, refreshing every second, it's so creepy. You're sitting there on your iPad, feeling like the watcher of the universe, you're like, oh, ooh, 
yeah, a lot of births, it's like this. It's like, a lot of people being born more than people are dying, so pick it up. Number five, Dianea House. Right off the bat, this next one here is fiction, okay? I'll say that. But it doesn't take away the fact that you can just visit this site and get sucked down in this unique rabbit hole. We've all been stuck on Reddit for hours on end, be it videos or discussions, whatever. Am I the asshole? This changes it up a bit if you're looking for something new and otherwise creepy. The tale of the Dianea House takes you on this adventure. It's about two men, Mark and Eric, who learned that an old friend they both knew, they killed two people, then they ended their own life. Again, it's dark, but also again, it's fiction. I'll remind you. So Mark becomes obsessed with figuring out what went wrong and why their friend did this, yada, yada, yada. And the Dianea House is this website that you can visit and it shows his string of emails to Eric while he searches for answers. And of course, the way it ends is unique and will leave you sleepless. No spoilers, it's a great time. You know, go for it if you want. It reminds me of when the internet was new and these creepy sites were actually terrifying. Like Peter's Answers or whatever, where you like type in a question, but at the same time you're typing in the answer and then your friends think that an AI is telling you the oh, it's so creepy. Should have put that one in. That one sucked. Number four, last words. Whew, okay. Again, these titles kind of give away the goods right off the bat. True crime is sweeping the nation. It seems like people are leaning into this now more than ever. You can learn how to draw on eyebrows while listening to a disappearance from 46 years ago. You know what I mean? It's so bizarre. I love it. Olivia and I are fans. We listen to all of our true crime podcasts every morning. We're like making coffee, listening. We're like, oh, that's good. That's really good. It's the best. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice has a list of all its past offenders, as well as all their information and offenses. And most jarring, the website includes their last words. Yeah, it's one of those things you want to see, but you're not quite sure why. You're like, this is, this is dark. This is like some other level. I can't even relate to this shit. Hopefully. That'd be kind of weird if I could. Number three, summoning demons. Cool, am I standing in my salt circle for this one? Here we go, we're good. Yeah, depending on your beliefs, this next one will either freak you out or intrigue you. It's kind of weird. How to summon demons. Okay, all you gotta do is head to angel fire or don't. Completely up to you. Let's say don't head there. How's that? There you go. This website is completely legal. They just argue why demons are real and they also include a fun little charity donation button. You know, in case you summon a demon and want to come back and leave a five-star review. Hey, thanks so much. Here's ten bucks. Thanks for Balthazar. We're gonna go clean my foyer. There's also access to other groups that practice Satanism. So if you want to make some new friends, maybe Tinder is not working out. Here you go. I'm sure you'll find lots of lots in common with other Satanists on board. I personally think this stuff is hilarious. I don't know. Because I grew up with barely any access to any online textbooks for school that I needed. You know what I mean? Now we have a neatly organized Satan site. Get out of here. Number two, WikiLeaks. Some good history around this one, gotta include it. In Stockholm, buried around 100 feet below street level is an old nuclear bunker. Now today, it's a facility owned by Swedish internet provider, Banoff. This is where they keep servers up and running for WikiLeaks. Yeah, we all know WikiLeaks, right? We use it for, you know, those movies we don't wanna pay for. Oh shit, I'm going to jail, hang on. I'm like, oh, the cops are here, I just got arrested, it's crazy. Julian Assange, front runner for this whole operation. His hard drive is in said bunker, behind a two foot steel door, accompanied by numerous backup generators. So yeah, no one's touching that, I guess. No one's touching his Angry Birds high score that's locked away forever. In October 2010, WikiLeaks actually published Army Field Reports from 2004, now one of the biggest leaks in US history. This report confirmed that there were over 66,000 civilian deaths in the Iraqi war logs, out of the 109,000 in total. Now this leak also suggests suggested that some American troops were classifying civilians as enemies in their statistics. Yeah, this is some pretty crazy news, right? These numbers were from 2004 to 2009, so a lot of history we're missing there. So yeah, sometimes these sites bring out some good knowledge, you know, aside from demon speed dating. Sometimes you gotta hear the dirty stuff too. And finally, number one, the scary maze game. I have to end this video on a good note, you know, so we can sleep a little bit. This one is pretty amazing. You can change somebody's life with this last website if you send it at the right time in their, you know, youth. The scary maze game. The first time you hear about this, you don't hear that word scary, do you? You just hear maze game. I played this for the first time on like a Windows 97. It took 18 minutes to load up too. I was so determined to get through this maze. I had the chair up nice and close. It was right close to the screen. The brightness was on 100%. Contrast was low. It was right there. I had it in the bag. I was so close to the end and my face popped up. I never forgave my brother. That was it. Family beef was ignited. There we go. Have you ever sent the scary maze game to someone? If so, how did they react? You know, or any of these other websites. Send them these ones too. See how they react. Both will probably be the same. You'll probably get a nice what the f for every link that you send them. Hit 
Kicking off the list at number 10, Swatting Services. Not that SWAT, but kick this list off with a more popular dark web original. Swatting Services to swat somebody is, well, it's just that. You pay this dark web service like $20, and then somebody on the other end makes a fake call with their IP address and stuff all mixed up, and usually it's something life-threatening, or an explosive is involved in this fake claim, and in orderly fashion, a SWAT team will just arrive. They'll literally kick down your door, and you'll have no idea. Using phone number encryption or throwaway phones, it's rather easy, dare I say. The price to pay if you get caught for, you know, getting a service like this is obviously not cheap, but still, it's quite common. Clint Eastwood was swatted back in 2013. Even Simon Cowell got the heat in 2012. Somebody got a swatter to make a fake claim that the producer had been kidnapped. So they showed up and he was at home completely clueless. Imagine kicking down the door and seeing Simon Cowell there. He's like, that was absolutely dreadful. Get on out then, fix me door. The FBI is working alongside international agencies right now to put a stop to it because, well, it's a pretty horrible event for every party involved. Also for the SWAT, taxpayers' money just gone. Just a kick a door in. Easy. Number nine, stolen goods. Wait a hot minute. People on the internet steal things? I feel sick. I feel betrayed. Yeah, this next one isn't surprising, but still, it's pretty batshit insane. There's a professional kleptomaniac who will steal anything for you. He's out there somewhere. I'm not going to say their name, but they're there. Just not the Declaration of Independence. They probably can't steal that. We've seen a movie on how hard that is to do. All you have to do is send them Bitcoin, a photo of what you want, and voila, stolen goods will arrive. All you have to do is pay a criminal through the dark web. How simple is that? This dude also just loves to steal regardless, because on his site or his little blog, whatever, he has items that he stole for people, but then they ended up backing out. Or things he's come across and thought, you know what, that would be really nice to sell through the dark web later on. Yeet. He just steals things and it's like, hey, does anyone want anything? I have tons of things. Horrible. Don't buy any stolen goods, ever. Number eight, always watching. One of my biggest fears when I'm using my computer is that my webcam is still somehow on and running and somebody's watching me. Like I'm covered in Dorito dust at 2 a.m. It's not a great sight. Cover that up. I put a little bit of tape there. That's how paranoid I am. Comment down below if you also tape down your webcams, you freaks. This next one comes from a Redditor who shared their experience with the dark web and their visit, and it gave me goosebumps. This was before Google, they say, when web pages were more or less just basic HTML with JavaScript. They were browsing random threads or blogs, early days of the internet, you know, link to link type deal, reading about labradoodles, whatever you can find. Then they came across this thread that was like an early Twitter almost, just random accounts posting their random thoughts, and at the top of this thread, there was a new post with their IP address, and in all lowercase text, the message said, we see you. No, bye. Normally that's not a huge deal, but the message was uploaded right when they were scrolling to the top, and when they clicked another link, another message popped up saying, hello there. Okay there, Obi-Wan Kenobi looking ass. Now at that point, I would just break my webcam. It would be gone, I'd fold my laptop, backwards. These files ended up tracing back to an IP address in Colorado for somebody who worked in some sort of medical department. So that's nice. In between procedures, he's like, hello there, welcome. Number seven, credit cards. It comes to no shock that around 11 million Americans report credit card theft a year. And the dark web, definitely is not helping that. There's this lovely service online that sells credit card information, social security numbers, anything of yours that you don't want out in the public, essentially, they got you covered. It's pretty twisted. The more money you pay, the bigger the account you get is, obviously. Also, I'm talking like money as in 20 to $80. And you have to pay in Bitcoin as well, so it's challenging. This sounds like a terrible idea on so many levels. $20 and then your life is ruined, as well as somebody else's. The FBI is on this. I mean, 11 million Americans go through this, so we gotta figure out something. Right? Back in 2010, the FBI ran a fake site and ended up busting 24 scammers, saving around 400,000 victims. That's wild. That's, that's a lot of people. They would have been screwed. Getting back at the rich is one thing, but paying $20 for a CEO's credit card? There you go. Go right to jail. It's that way. Number six, Netflix. I'm so private about my Netflix account, I have no idea why. Same as my Spotify. I just get anxious. I don't want people knowing that I'm watching glass-blowing shows at 3 a.m. I keep that to myself. That's private time. That's for me. Or cooking shows. Those are both nice. But when it comes to the dark web, people might be using your account. Yeah, imagine somebody else finishing Ozark before you even get to. 
worst crime of all. Your account is worth pennies, apparently. On these black market sites, you can piggyback off of a paying customer, have their login and password, and then just secretly use their Netflix. But again, if somebody was watching Peppa Pig at 4 a.m., odds are you'll be suspicious. So these accounts come and go often, hence the low asking price. This is a challenging part of the internet still, especially users that are older and not too aware of the dangers online. These fake emails go out saying it's from Netflix and they're requesting a password change and all that jazz. And people believe it, sadly. I myself almost fallen into one of these traps. I'm like, oh shit, Netflix just texted me about my credit card. I gotta go pay them back. I'm like, oh, Netflix just texted me about my OSAT payments. That's weird, I'm gonna go call them. Number five. Wish pills. Have you ever asked your wish for other wishes? Have you ever tossed a coin into a fountain and then wished all your dreams would just come true? If so, that's pretty normal. We're not gonna ask too many questions here. We've all had a birthday wish. We're dreamers here on Most Amazing Top 10. We get it. But would you ever buy a wish online, let alone buy a wish from the dark web? What does that even mean? Also, let's talk about it. Well, you can pay a small fee and receive a pill just a pill that supposedly will grant a wish. There's so much wrong here. I mean, first of all, never order any pill from the dark web. The place is, of course, littered with narcotics, so that'll go poorly most of the time. And secondly, what a waste of money. Shipping is not cheap. That pill is coming from Chris Angel's home. It's like at least $17, maybe more. Number four mystery boxes. Perhaps one of the most compelling parts of the dark web has to be this mystery box craze. Do you remember this? I remember this. It was scary. YouTubers would just film themselves receiving a random item or a box rather from the dark web. Now these items range in designer clothes, maybe it's a new phone, or maybe it's something absolutely horrible. We love to gamble. 50-50. One YouTuber ended up pulling this child's book out, but it was already colored in with all these haunting images and colors. Sometimes you would get nothing as well. Yeah, it's like the internet's shady almost. Hmm. YouTuber Alex Maynard tossed a hundred bucks towards this mystery exchange, and all they got was a note, handwritten of course, that said, you shouldn't accept packages from strangers. Good luck. Honestly, I think it's the best case scenario here. Just receiving a life lesson instead of like, I don't know, a finger? I'll take it, that's good. Number three. Uranium. Ah, yes, the key ingredient to making a nuclear weapon. Uranium, good stuff. Back in 1938, the world was changed forever when German nuclear physicists discovered nuclear fission. They discovered what would happen if an atom were to split. Well, what happens is it causes a massive explosion. The bombings at Hiroshima and Nagasaki alone, I mean thousands of lives, were lost instantly, and we're still selling small amounts of uranium on the dark web. Humans are awesome. Great. The amount sold, of course, is incredibly small compared to the amount used in warfare, but still, don't buy uranium off the dark web. Don't buy any chemicals from the dark web, for that matter. This is a list on what not to do, but what you can do right now is hit that thumbs up. Kind of, you know, change the energy up. Don't buy uranium. Instead, hit that thumbs up. Number two, alien footage. Honestly, there's one thing on this list that makes me kind of want to visit the dark web. This has got to be a tinfoil hat ahoy. Not a new phone, not a new watch, but alien footage. That's apparently something that can come your way. I would leave this freak a five-star Yelp review if I could. Imagine paying an anonymous source some bitcoins and then you get this. This video was found in the depths of the deep dark web and it's a little convincing. A little convincing. I mean, they're showing UFOs whipping through the skies now on news, so that's a normal thing, apparently. So who really knows? The footage is from 1992 and supposedly was filmed in Switzerland and it shows a cold little alien. Just a little, little dude. The typical look as well, the big eyes, the big head, humanoid shape, real Independence Day vibes almost, so odds are it's obviously fake. But again, what an odd thing to pay for and then receive from the internet. The full video shows different angles of this little alien being held up by wire in some sort of cold lab. Now, I'm not trying to convince you that aliens are real, at least not in this video. I'm trying to convince you instead to not look for videos of them on the dark web because I had to browse and I saw some shit I want to see. Just don't. And finally, number one, more mystery boxes. There's a lot of videos of YouTubers opening these things and it's terrifying. So we figured we'd cap this list off with a few of our faves. Crypto NWO uploaded their mystery box adventure quite recently and it's just as horrible as you'd expect. They open up this stuffed bear wearing leather cuffs and in the center of the stuffed animal's chest, there's a clock. I gotta say, the speed at which they pull this thing out, it looks like an explosive. Don't yank any clocks out from a dark web box ever. Oh my God. They continue and find clothes, a blue mask, like one of those, you know, Jabberwocky masks that's blue, a green little skeleton rubber toy thing, and one of the scariest things of all time, a Luigi walkie-talkie. Yeah, this is when they throw on the rubber gloves, which is a pretty good idea. That's when it starts to get a little strange. Would you ever say hello to a walkie-talkie from the dark web? 
Are you insane? I would. I'd be like, who's there? Beep, 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 beep. The best part, perhaps, in this entire unboxing video is when they pull out what they think is a phone that vibrates. It's not. All right, let's start this list off with something that's gonna make you afraid to trust a stranger, and it's organs. If you know where to look on the dark web, you can find hearts, heads, eyes, spleens, and even skin. Anything you would like that could be stolen from the human body could be yours. And I think you can even get it delivered through the mail, although I wouldn't recommend that. I'm not sure how well a human heart holds up in a UPS truck. It's just getting tossed around. It probably would come pre-jolted with a heart attack built into it. Hmm, that's very nice. Now, how are all these organs getting onto the dark web? Well, I can imagine a bunch of them are harvested out of unsuspecting tourists who drift too far from the resort. Be careful out there. But apparently, a bunch of them are sold willingly. There's a price list for how much it costs to get these things and how much you would get if you sold them. And we're talking tens of thousands of dollars, depending on the body part. So if you're ever looking to take out a loan to start a new business, but your credit score is so poor, you could just sell a kidney for 20 grand. Sure, you're gonna shorten your life expectancy, but you won't have to pay back any interest. At number nine, we have red rooms. Before writing this, I didn't even know that these things existed. So the dark web has red rooms and they're in isolated locations and inside them are people who have been kidnapped and they're being filmed on a live stream. Not live streams like Twitch. There's not gonna be some girl with her boobs pushed into her throat trying to get 12 year olds to buy her a Ferrari. No, these people have been locked in a room and are on a live stream feed to the dark web so people watching can send requests of how they want this person to be. Jesus, ugh. Leave it to the internet to really bring people together. Now these things are rumored, so I have no idea if they're actually real, and I'm not gonna go on a deep dive through internet searches because I don't wanna end up on a watch list. Do you guys understand this? Like, I, I still have a life to live, but I couldn't imagine anything worse than being at the mercy of internet trolls that only want to see you well, hopefully I managed to stay a free man. Uh. At number eight, we have Death Note. Chill out, you weebs. I'm not talking about the famous anime Death Note. By Death Note, I mean the last thing people say before they die. There's a website on the dark web that has voice recordings from plane crashes. Now, with the magic of technology, when people are going down in a crash, they might record themselves to give their dying message to their loved ones. Most things like this get destroyed in the crash, but some manage to handle the impact, and you can go into the dark web and listen to hours upon hours of these audio files. All of them have these people's last words on them. I don't know why people would want to listen to something like that unless they really like ruining their own day. Also, remind me never to record myself in my last moments. I don't want to do that. I know I would be dead after and anyone listening to the recording I would never know, but I definitely don't want that stuff leaked onto the dark web just because I'm classier than that. At number seven, we have Blank Room Soup. So here's a video that managed to work its way into everyday normal internet and is apparently from the dark web. If you've never seen Blank Room Soup, it's a super creepy video that makes me want to pay a big strong guy to watch me while I sleep. The video has a dude eating soup with a spoon that's way too big and a couple of dudes in some characterless costumes just stroking his back. Well, there's no explanation as to what this video is or where it comes from, but there's a lot of theories. Some people have said that the guy eating the soup was kidnapped by the two dudes in the costumes. And in the soup is his dead wife. Other people have said that it's just an art project, so who really knows. At number six, we have love.avi. All right, we got some more creepy videos that might have been taken right from the dark web. Love.avi is a video that has no dialogue, but is just generally creepy. It has some random dude with a white mask on and a clown wielding a knife. Yeah, I guess you guys get it. It seems like they have some sort of weird relationship based on the title. I guess they're supposed to be in love or something like that. After watching it, I would guess it's a pretty dysfunctional relationship. At number five, we got Hamburger Lady. This sounds like the worst nickname you could ever get in high school. Like, hey, why doesn't Gina have a boyfriend? Well, everyone calls her hamburger lady. No one wants to date the hamburger lady. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, well, Hamburger Lady is a creepy video of a disfigured woman who is said to be severely burned on her upper body. There's also some really weird music in the video. If you can call it music, it sounds like strange wails and screeches. And to top it off, there's some creepy flashes of little girls wearing masks. Is Hamburger Lady real? I don't care. I'm not going to go digging to find out because I don't need nightmares. At number four, we have EBE 1992 Iger. All right 
like as we've talked about so many things that are disturbing and are probably going to make it hard for you to sleep later. So let's shift gears to something that is still creepy, but not forced to eat your dead wife creepy. EBE 1992 Iger is a series of videos and photos that might have been the discovery of real life aliens. You know the ones with the big heads and the big eyes you see all in the movies? Yeah, he looks just like that. The video shows some sort of dig site where they're excavating some little dead alien dude. It sucks that he's dead. I've got so many questions to ask the alien. like. Do you guys have good weed and how much does it cost? The footage is really grainy so it's hard to tell if it's real or fake. At the number 3 spot we have Daisy's Destruction. Ok so we took a break from the truly disturbing for number 4 just to come right back at it on number 3. Daisy's Destruction is one of the most horrible things that you could ever find on the internet. It's a bunch of videos of several kids, some that are only 2 years old being I can't stress this enough that you should not go look up these videos. They were filmed by Peter Scully. Who would children. Thankfully this dude is behind bars and will never see the light of day again. At number 2 we have snuff films. With everything we've gone through on this list it should be no surprise that there are snuff films on here. At this point it would be a bigger shock if I told you Pixar's Up was floating around the dark web. Now we're going to focus on one snuff film in particular and it's just titled Russian Snuff. It has a weird Russian title but I'm not going to say it. I don't know how to say it. It's a video that is disturbing beyond belief. I'll break it down for you at home so you don't have to ruin your psychological state watching it. In the video there's a bunch of men who may or may not be prisoners. They might have just been and then forced to and the bodies of the men around them. At one point a few of them are forced to eat feces. There's even a battle royale style fight where they all have to fight to the death. Once again don't watch any of these unless you want to really have trouble looking at raw meat. And number 1 on the list is mystery boxes. Now out of all the terrible things we've had on this list why would mystery box be number 1? Well because any mystery box purchased off the dark web could have any or all of the previous items mentioned inside it. It's basically a gift bag for people people who want murder weapons and clumps of dead people's hair. Huh. If you look around on YouTube there are hours upon hours of videos of people opening up these mystery boxes. Some of them have disfigured kids toys in them which is creepy but not deadly. But the one that YouTuber Baze TV got sent to his house was horrifying. It had a large blade in it that seemed to have been used in a murder. And a memory card with a video on it of a woman being in a ritualistic Nothing like a good surprise. Uh. Coming in at number 10 we have creepy singing. Alright let's start off with something very ominous. To be honest this might be nothing but for some reason this sent a chill down my spine. The YouTuber Cuban guy ordered a mystery box off the dark web and instead of getting something that could have been a knife or a head or Spice Girls the movie on Laserdisc he got a cassette tape and actually a pretty nice pair of headphones. Actually those might have been his. He wasn't sure what could be on the tape so with bated breath he gave it a listen and then the secret was unveiled. It was just a lady singing. That is kind of a letdown. Well, not really. I can't tell what the woman is saying because it is in a language that I do not speak and Cuban guy doesn't have any answers either. Some people in the comments think that it could have been a simple lullaby while other people think it was more akin to the tape recording from the movie Evil Dead. You know the one that summons an evil force from the Necronomicon that slowly but surely kills everyone in a cabin? Yeah let's hope it was the latter and move on to the next point. Coming at number 9 we have a chained up plastic box. The group abandoned exploration squad managed to get their hands on a mystery box and the contents looked like it was previously owned by a demonic child who used these toys to act out some pretty sick fantasies. First they had to open the box which was chained shut. They had to use power tools just to slice this box open. Once it was open there was a bunch of toys in there that were mutilated and some of them looked like they had blood splatter on them. There was also some tangled tapes in there and an alarming amount of knives. Maybe this was all just someone's garbage that they threw together because it all looked creepy but I'm still curious to know what was on those tapes. If they could get untangled it might give some clues as to what was going on inside that creepy box of junk. Coming at number 8 we have WizKid. Here's something about a mystery box. You have no idea what is going to be in there. Duh that's why it's called a mystery box. Well maybe before you reach into the box that you bought off the dark web you should look into it because the YouTuber goes by the name Name Brand decided 
it that he would reach into this mystery box before he gave it the full inspection. And it turns out the box had a container of pee in it. Well, good thing he had gloves on, right? This mystery box sounds like those Harry Potter jelly bellies that had nasty flavors in them. Like some were apple cinnamon, but others were like cow farts. That's what this box is. You think you're gonna get a spooky surprise and then someone just pees in your hand. Yay, the internet. Coming in at number seven, we have hidden gems. I dug deep to find this mystery box. And honestly, if I could prove that it was real, it would be at number one. You can't see who is opening the mystery box. They don't speak in the video. There's just a POV shot of them opening the box. It seems like a normal cardboard box and then inside is an old digital camera that has some duct tape over it. The person who's opening the box takes out the camera and then it just starts up. Maybe it's a model of camera that's like motion activated or something similar to the way your iPhone will start up if you move it. Whatever the reason, it's very creepy. The camera has enough charge to play a video and I can't tell if this video is real. I'm really hoping that it's staged, but I think it's better if I just show you what was on the tape rather than describe it. Nah, that is amazing. I have to say when I was watching the video, I was actually legit scared. And then I got Rickrolled perfectly. God, that is such a good prank. All right, on to the next video. Coming at number six, we have spooky medical supplies. Now this one looks like someone really trying hard to make something scary, and I'll give it to them. They really tried. That guy, Aaron, went to the trouble of getting a mystery box off the dark web, and the contents seem to be sinister. There's some zip ties in there, rubber gloves, a hand-powered drill, and clamps, along with some homemade video of a lady talking to the camera while she's in a park. The whole thing implies that this lady had some sort of horrible surgery done to her against her will. But after watching the video a few times, I think that this one is a hoax. Everything is just way too clean. The video could have simply been taken off the internet, but I still think the box gave off a very creepy vibe, so I'm gonna give it an A for effort. Coming in at number five, we have the $10,000 box. This one was Ahmed Moe's TV's purchase. Now, did it actually cost $10,000? We'll probably never know. But the contents were kinda cool. There was what looked to be a Warshak painting made made out of someone's blood, there was a reflective vest that had some blood on it, and then a spray bottle filled with blood. But when you really look at it, it's for sure not blood, because blood coagulates really fast outside of the body, and this was clearly liquid. So that means it was probably just tomato juice or something like that. Which makes me believe that the rest of the blood and everything else was probably fake as well, but still, A for effort, again. Coming in at number four, we have the Iceman Cometh. Now this mystery box, I might believe. There is a little bit more mystery with it, so it has me curious. The box was opened by YouTuber T and C. Inside the box is what seemed to be an ice pick with a red stain on the end. Now this could be any number of things, but the subtlety of the creepiness is what really sends it home. There was also some medical pliers which could imply that the ice pick was pulled out of something or someone. Whoa. Coming in at number three, we have a blood splattered dress. Okay, this is why I would never do anything like this. Who knows? Maybe this was fake, but if it was real, now you're involved in a murder that you want nothing to do with. The YouTube channel known as The Boys unboxed a dark web package that had a series of items that seemed to be all linked to a murder. First, you have some dirty shoes. They were some pretty nice high heels. Then you have a picture of a lady from a tree who was wearing those shoes. In the picture, you can't see the lady actually hanging, you just see her feet dangling off the ground. So who knows, maybe she's holding onto something to make it look like she's hanging. Then you have the dress that she was wearing in the picture covered in what looks to be blood. There's also a knife included in the box. This sounds like Christmas from hell. I'm sticking this in the number three spot because there's a good chance that this was all staged. I'm not saying that the boys staged it, but the person sending them the box might have made the whole thing up to freak them out and make a little bit of money off them. Coming in at number two, we have maybe use tongs. If you're gonna open some mystery box you bought online, you might want to have the proper tools to make sure you don't catch anything while you're in the process. Ali H went to town on a mystery box wearing nothing but a couple of kitchen rubber gloves. And while this might help you stop from getting pee on your hands, it's not going to block anything serious. And this box was packed full of serious content. First, we have a bunch of toilet paper that was unraveled and hopefully unused. Then 
there was some unmarked meds. This could have been anything from Tylenol to Oxycodone. Following that, there was a couple of vials of blood. You know, your casual box of blood that you shouldn't be worried about. It's fine. What could be suspicious about a few vials of blood that you bought online? And that wasn't even the worst part. There was a hair covered syringe in the box that poked through Allie's glove and stabbed him right in the finger. As far as I know, this dude is still alive, so it seems that this mystery syringe didn't have a mystery virus embedded in it. And coming out of the number one spot, we have five times the fun. Why just get one box when you can get five? If you really want to max out the potential from this crazy mystery box thing, just go all in and see what comes out on the other side. YouTuber Killem decided this was the best course of action, which seems like a pretty good idea. I mean, what if you got one and there was nothing good in it? Well, he invested $2,500 on mystery boxes, and then when it came to his house, he was not lacking at things to look at. There was some used underwear in one. Is that how much you can sell your underwear for? And I've just been throwing mine away. There was also a bottle of mystery pills that were stuffed inside a teddy bear that was stuffed inside two other teddy bears. Not to mention, there was a children's book that had some satanic symbols stuffed inside it. Some witchcraft, perverted objects, illegal drugs. That's the holy trinity of mystery boxes. Oh, and there was way more stuff. I just don't have time to fit it all into this video. Number 10, which is hiring hitmen. In the darkest corners of the dark web, you can find for hire sites such as the Hitman Network. These three guys offer their services to anyone you want in North America for 10,000 US dollars or Europe for 12,000. They even have a referral rewards page where if you tell others about them, you get 1% of what they buy. This might sound horrifying to most of us, but these guys do seem to have some sort of morals. They claim they won't anyone under the age of 16 or any top 10 politicians. Although I think the second one is more for their own safety. But let's say someone out there did want to use these hitman services, how would they pay? Well, on the dark web, you can't use pounds, dollars or euros. Our factor number nine is that it's all done using bitcoins. Because the dark web has a lot of illegal activity, the people selling the illegal products or services don't want to have any kind of trace leading back to them. And neither do the customers. Normal currencies such as cash, credit or checks cannot be used as they are too easy to trace. But Bitcoin is not so easy. Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer system that allows people to use their computers processing power to mine and create new Bitcoins. At the moment, one single Bitcoin is worth 395 US dollars. The Bitcoins can then be used to purchase items on the dark web and neither the buyer or the seller have to share any account details. Now, Bitcoin can sometimes be used in the real world, but because of its untraceable nature, it's mainly used in the dark web. But now we're going to talk about how to access the dark web because our fact at number eight is the Tor encryption tool. Tor stands for the Onion Router and is the most popular gateway program to access the dark web. It was originally developed for the US Navy as a way of protecting government information, but it's an open source software which means you can download it yourself. It promises to make you truly anonymous and your location totally undetectable by running your IP address through routers all over the world. Once you've done that, you can type in the address of any deep or dark web website and away you go. If you guys use this method, then you'll see in the address bar that all the site names end in .onion instead of the usual .com. So if you see .onion, you've somehow managed to stumble upon the dark web. And while you're there, our factor number seven is that you can buy all kinds of illegal and fake documents. There are sites on the dark web that allow you to purchase any kind of fake ID you can think of. You can get a French national ID card, a Norwegian driver's license, or a British passport for between one to three thousand euros in Bitcoin form of course. Then put in all your details and they'll send it over to you. Some of them even offer free shipping. Some of these sites look so legit and normal that you almost forget they're very very illegal. I mean come on guys I know free shipping is tempting but you know let's not go into the illegal stuff. Let's move on to our number six now which is that apparently the dark web is a recruiting tool for spies. In 2012 a secretive group by the name of Cicada 3301 posted a series of intricate puzzles online for members of the public to find so that they could find highly intelligent individuals. News of these difficult internet puzzles spread around the world as people tried to solve them and advance to the next step. The enigmas center around data security, cryptography and steganography and led people into the deepest reaches of the dark web and back again. All this led people to speculate that Cicada 3301 is a recruitment tool for government agencies like the NSA, the CIA or MI6. The theory 
theory is that whoever solves these puzzles will be hired as a spy or a hacker. And guess what guys, it's still going on. Every single year on January 4th, there seems to be new puzzles being added, so you could still crack the code. But now we're going to talk about the Silk Road in at number 5. Probably the most notorious site on the dark web, the Silk Road was an online black market that sold every type of illegal drug under the sun. From the popular sales of marijuana to class A the Silk Road had it all, just one click away from delivery to its users. The FBI shut down the site in October 2013 and arrested the founder. After monitoring the site in the months leading up to the arrest, the FBI found that the site saw $1.2 billion in revenue. Moving on to our number 4 now, we're going to talk about the revolutionary dark web. Now although it might seem like the dark web is just used for and that's not necessarily the case. The anonymity of the dark web has attracted many groups who use it to gather in secrecy and share information that they would not be able to do in the real world or even on the internet. One example was the Syrian revolution in 2011 with videos being secured on the dark web and Edward Snowden acquiring information on the NSA's global surveillance program. So we know that you can get information on the dark web but what about weapons? Well at number 3 we're going to talk about dark web weaponry. Sites like Black Market Reloaded and the Armory drew attention after the Silk Road takedown as the new dark web hubs of a For inflated prices they offer everything from and are proud of their services. The owner of the Armory said in an interview that they are a group of former soldiers who saw the need to support citizens and local militias who are not able to legally arm themselves. People who have seen these websites have come back with mixed reports, some people saying they are totally legit and that they actually arm dangerous people and others are saying they're just massive scam sites. Either way we're at number 2 now guys and we're going to talk about the sheer size of the dark web. Search engines like Google or Bing can only access a small fraction of all information on the web. The rest of that hidden information is called the deep web which contains the dark web as a part of it. Check out this infograph that states that the deep web is an astonishing 500 times the size of the so called surface web. In fact every website you've ever heard of or could ever find with Google makes up just 4% of all the www content. The iceberg analogy is often used to show just how vast the deep and dark web is compared with the internet we see on a daily basis. Alright we've looked at how to access the dark web, the illegal services you can buy on it and the currency it uses but our number one fact about the dark web is the cannibals. The darkest recesses of the dark web will cater to a person's needs no matter how strange, illegal or twisted they are, including cannibalism. Over the years people have come forward and said they found sites where cannibals and people who want to offer their own flesh come and meet. These people reported so called cannibalistic forums where members chat and arrange meetups with people saying things like I need someone to eat my fresh meat, I am juicy and tender. But coming in at number 10 the mystery boxes. Already sounds a bit scary, a bit shady, but alright. No, this was a really dangerous trend started by YouTubers. Back in August a whole bunch of popular creators were ordering mystery boxes off the dark web, you know as you do. This included Ice Poseidon who got a mystery USB stick, I'm Jay Station who paid a thousand dollars for a box of entrails and you know I can probably think of maybe one or two ways he could have better used that money but sure. <laughs> and Killam who received a stuffed teddy bear, a voodoo doll, a satanic children's book, a dismembered doll with sw on every single one of those little parts and what looked like a weapon in a parcel delivered to his PO box. Still unconfirmed on whether you know that weapon was used or unused when it was received and I'm not too sure about that or whether I want to find out. <laughs> While some of the YouTubers may not have been totally honest in how they obtained the box, some of them seemed pretty damn real. As the YouTubers were garnering millions of views, it's a potential cause for concern for their younger viewers who are more impressionable and may you know want to copy them, also ordering you know mystery boxes off the dark web and also receiving things they really probably shouldn't be receiving but you know you don't want that on the dark web and you don't want your address floating on the dark web either. Hip hip hooray what have we got at number 9? Oh human meat. According to numerous numerous sources it is perfectly possible to find human meat recipes on the internet and not only that it is possible to source said human meat. 
grim. Redditor Bacon Boy Loiter wrote that one day he accessed the dark web and found a comprehensive guide to cook women. They continued by saying this page had information on what body parts to use for specific cuts, how to prepare these cuts, and how to cook the girl so she lives as long as possible. Right. Also, when researching this video, I found a video on YouTube called Deep Web Recording of a Cannibal Eating Human Flesh. So, yeah, it's number nine, and I think I'm done. Coming in at number eight, recruiters. Right, because that's the first thing you think of when you think dark web. Recruiters do a lot of recruiting on the dark web because apparently that's the most reliable place for employees these days, and here I am updating my LinkedIn every single day. In 2015, it was first announced that using a tour hidden service to host an ISIS propaganda site. A forum associated with the tour gave instructions on how to access the darknet site. Using the clever inscriptions of the dark web, ISIS are making themselves less traceable and hindering the FBI and other law enforcements from finding them. Great, because it was already so easy to find them in the first place. EU representative Beatrice Breton said, I activities on the surface web are now being monitored closely and the decision by a number of governments to take down or filter extremist content has forced the jihadists to look for new online safe havens. But who said the dark web was a safe haven to begin with? Anybody? Definitely not me. Coming into number 7 we have the Ainsley Harriet death plot. The dark web is famously a place that people can find illicit items or pay for illegal services. It isn't just a rumour that people can hire assassins this way, it's a fact. For those of you that don't know, Ainsley Harriet is a British chef and TV personality. Does anyone remember Ready Steady Cook? I loved it. PewDiePie even had a big cardboard cutout of him at one point, so maybe you'd know his face that way. Anyway, it seems that this chef was the target of an assassination plot unearthed in 2018. Luckily, the plot was foiled, but not everyone has been so lucky. There is, or was, or again, maybe is, a website on the deep web called Assassination Market where people can guess the death dates of individuals betting Bitcoin. Then, if they guess correctly, they get a payout. Now, this seems to encourage would be assassins to strike targets in order to get the money. Continuing on at number six, we have Red Room. The dark web has red rooms, according to a plethora of Reddit posts. Anyway, red room is the name given to a murder stream, and already I don't want to continue with this point. One redditor, Draodan, posted on the No Sleep forum with their story of an experiencing a red room. They said that their story goes way back to 2006, when they were 16 and they first accessed the dark web. They wrote that they initially found it using a tour, and they clicked on a dot onion link. The dark web uses dot onions as their links. I think it's some kind of joke about the deep layers of the web. I don't know. I haven't been there. So basically, at this point in his life, he was enjoying the dark web in an entertaining kind of teenage way. But then, unfortunately, things got real. He and his mates would spur each other on and encourage one another to click on horrible things. He then talks about the one thing that made him uninstall the tour and never visit the dark web again. He clicked on a link that said Red Room going live soon. Hit with a wave of emotion, he said he decided to click on that link. In his post, he writes, What I saw is exactly what has been described by other accounts that have been posted. As such, bringing up the more gory no sleep bits is a bit hard for me to think about, let alone write. Details will be admitted. He continues by saying that he saw a woman with a pillowcase over her head. A male host asked what people wanted to see and do to her, and donations started flooding in for her tour. He said that one donator paid $500 for her to be the post ends with the guy saying that he still thinks about what he saw and wonders if it was truly real. Honestly, I really hope it wasn't, but this is the dark web. At number five, we have Sad Satan Game. Already I don't like the sound of this, so let's just see how this goes. The Sad Satan Game has become a bit of a dark web urban legend. Part of the game was uploaded to the YouTube channel Obscure Horror Corner and has been watched nearly three million times. That's a lot of people and a lot of views. The game itself is a dark mystery with the YouTubers saying they were given it by an anonymous subscriber who found it on the deep web. Not a shady source at all. <laughs> so far as we know, the game includes a lot of footage of sex offender Jimmy Savile, images of President John F. Kennedy Jr. moments before his assassination, and audio clips of maniac murderer Charles Manson. And you know, for that extra cherry on top, there are also images of Hitler in there for good measure. Perfect. Just my favourite mix of people all in one place. There are also a lot of encrypted messages in the game that one reddit user has claimed to have cracked. They think it says, I can track you and Right. Coming in at number 4 is Pink 
Now, ironically, considering it is on the dark web, pink has nothing to do with the drugs. Nothing at all. Is that even a drug? I'm not really sure. This awful encrypted deep website is a revenge. That's right, guys, keep your nudes safe, please. The site allows people to upload images of their exes and categorize them so that people can search using their name, age, tattoos, and more. Revenge is a serious issue and is very illegal. A girl posted on Reddit that she had been getting weird friend requests from random guys in random countries and was worried that she may be on this site, and turns out she was. Many victims of revenge consider and sadly, a lot of them go through with it. I mean, who would want those images on the web to begin with? Coming into number three, we have the medical tests. Chris of Constant answered a Reddit thread that asked Redditors darkest experience of the deep web. Alarmingly, they said that they came across an advertisement for medical services. Sounds legit, right? Well, this is the dark web, so no, not legit. The Redditor wrote that the medical company had warehouses filled with people in different countries. Some of these people were victims of trafficking, others were homeless and plucked off the streets in major cities like New York. The Redditor wrote that not only were the medical company organ harvesting, they were also also offering inhumane medical experimentations on their so called test subjects. Coming into number two, this is so awful, I really don't even want to talk about it. We have the destruction of Daisy. This is absolutely horrific. This is kind of a continuation of the idea of red rooms that we talked about earlier, although luckily the perpetrator behind this has been caught and jailed. Daisy's destruction were a selection of videos from the dark web that showed adults. The video has often been dubbed as one of the worst things on the dark web, which is some accolade. Some people streamed the videos for up to $10,000. One of the most notorious videos was of a baby. I think that honestly, we're going to leave that one there, although I will say a police officer in Sydney, where the perpetrator Peter Scully was caught, called the footage one of the worst things that they'd ever encountered in their professional career. Are you even ready for number one? I don't I'm re kind of terrified. This I really, is gross. The list was already bad enough. I don't want to see what's at number one, but at number one we have a teen. In 2017, a 19-year-old boy two people and posted details about it on the dark web. Marcel Hess shared microblog style updates about what he was doing and declaring he was making in one message, he posted on a chat room saying, I have cut myself in the hand as I fought the 120 kilogram beast. What beast is he talking about exactly? He then posted pictures of his mother and took a selfie of himself covered in blood. He shared further images of the crime scene and his victims, one of which was nine years old. That's, that is like genuinely horrendous. Apparently, when his sister went to visit him in jail, he started screaming, I am 4chan. I'm sorry? He sounds like an absolute <laughs> idiot, but a murdering idiot at that. When Marcel was arrested, he was carrying a bag of onions, presumably a nod to the dark web. Honestly, it sounds like a bit of a messed up place for some messed up people. So I don't want to go to the dark web. Thank you.